Alrighty, so just as we started to think that Disney might have turned the corner with the latest that has happened with, you know, the Marvel movie, the Deadpool and Wolverine, as it has made a billion dollars at the box office, well, Disney slaps us back into reality with this no white trailer that came out a couple of days ago to a ton of massive backlash. Now, they waited a whole year extra before actually making the announcement that the movie was going to be moving forward by releasing this trailer. However, they might have thought that after a year, people would have forgotten that they they will be hating. They will be hating this particular movie, not for many other reasons other than the fact that it is being played by the worst person that could possibly play this movie. Somebody who hates everything about the original classical 1937 version of the movie. The cartoon Snow White, she absolutely hates the character. She hates what she stands for. So she wants to change everything and push her own agenda and her own politics and the internet never forgets. As a result, after releasing the trailer, it is receiving a ton of my backlash and I'm pretty sure to Disney's um, surprise. And so you're having articles come out like this one. Rachel Zegler, Snow White trailer receives massive backlash hundreds of thousands of youtube dislikes now i am not surprised because there's a whole lot of things that you can criticize this from just by merely looking at this trailer which is currently sitting at 66,000 likes to 550 50 wow it has moved 2000 in the last couple of minutes 2000 people have joined in including myself to dislike this trailer in the last couple of minutes while i was preparing to record this thing it was actually sat at 548000 and right now just about 5 minutes later it sat at 550 50,000 to 66,000 likes. Man, epically ratioed. So, I want us to get into this particular story because, like I said, there is a lot of reasons why people are disliking. And one of the key reasons would be the fact that there's a lot of CGI. Maybe the whole thing is almost CGI, with the exception of this particular young lady right here and why Disney went on that particular route. So, let's dive right in. I'm going to share my opinion as we go along. Feel free to share your opinion in the comment section below. Without further ado, here we go at the d23 expo over the weekend disney released the trailer for the live action snow white movie which is receiving a massive amount of online backlash go figure the snow white trailer on the official what is the studios youtube channel has over 300 let's make that 550 000 dislikes but who's counting me Yes, me. I'm counting. Uh, this likes to 56,000 uh, uh, likes. 66,000 likes. Tomato, tomato. But in any case, you guys, various browser extensions re enables the dislike feature on YouTube, just in case you want to know. Um, I'm using an extension myself, and that's why we can see this dislike. I mean, just admire that 550,000 dislikes once again. Now, Disney recently delayed the film by a year, which also followed those negative remarks Zegler made about Snow White, including its hand hand. Uh, she doesn't like the original animated movie, and she thinks Prince Charming is a stalker. That's why. She, she's not going to be saved by Prince Charming. No, she's going to become the leader that her father always knew she was. Snow White for president is what they were saying back then, right? Well, let's see how it's going to do when it comes to making Kachin Kachin at the box office. So what are people saying? A lot of comments complain about the CGI and how they didn't bother to use real dwarves as well as the casting. They're not the only one. There's actually another series out there from Apple TV called Time by in which they did the same thing they sidelined the dwarves for the sake of you know so-called bandits who are now you know regular people black tall white asian hispanic and it's all boiling down to what one particular person said which we will get to in a second no dwarves were hired during the making of our film says a top comment with nine thousand likes so they did not hire dwarves all because of what one person said peter dinklage who criticized them not too long ago when they actually announced the release of this movie after praising them for how progressive they were for using a latina to actually play the role of snow white and this is what he had to say he said quote literally no offense to anything but i was sort of taken aback right you were taken aback because there might be other dwarfs and you will not be special anymore in you know hollywood there might be other dwarfs who might get a big break from this particular disney show he said but then again he went on to say 
they were very proud to cast a Latino or a Latina in this case, an actress as Snow White, but you're still telling the story of Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. What's wrong with that? It then goes on to say, take a step back and look at what you're doing there. What are they doing? It says, it makes no sense to me. You're progressive in one way, but you're still making the effing backward story about seven dwarves living in a cave together. Have I done nothing to advance the cause from my soapbox? Right? So, because you played a big character in Game of Thrones, everybody needs to listen to you. You are now the spokesperson for people with dwarfism, right? Mind you, they are changing the language once again. They are now trying to make it a slur to call people with dwarfism dwarfs. Funny how they now call them a new politically correct name saying that, you oh, know, you should call them little people. However, it's a slur when you say people who happen to be suffering from obese are fat. Matter of fact, if you say they are obese, it is now a slur as well. Something that is a biological term. So at some point, we wouldn't even be able to say anything. Nobody will be able to face critics. Fat people can get fat and, you know, die of heart attack or whatever, or, 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 or diabetes, and we're not supposed to actually criticize them to try to do better for themselves. I mean, there are people who have a condition that makes them big. We know that naturally, but is this something that we should be pushing with the body positivity, which is leading to a lot of deaths, right? Guys, if you don't know this, go and check it. One of the biggest cause of deaths happens to be obesity. Right? It happens to be that, one of the largest causes of death. But this is where we're at, where you can't say anything because it's not their truth. We have to believe every singular person's truth, right? And so this is what Disney has done to move to that woke direction, which is now causing a problem for the exact people that they are supposed to so-called be helping. They're not the only one that did this. I mean, um apple tv did this recently regarding what especially because of what this guy said peter dinklage said these criticisms that a show that they were doing now time bandits recently i think one of you guys actually complained about it some time ago time bandits is an original 1981 movie it's a classic movie right starring sean connery and i think people like uh john cleese of 40 towers and so many other stars right the key characters, the heroes of that particular show were dwarves. But in the new one, they turned them into bandits where um, the girl from Friends, I, I forget her name. She plays Phoebe in Friends, uh, becomes the leader of the bandits. So they replaced dwarves with tall people and the only short person amongst them happens to be the kid. Now, in the 1981 version or the 80s version of it, the main person that the story was centered around was also a kid and people underestimated the kid and the bandits because they were all short people right and so this is why the movie was such a a big thing back in the past because people underestimated them they were able to outsmart everyone you know and save the day and whatnot however in today's world it is actually now a crime to feature dwarf so he's succeeded in disenfranchising them pulling the ladder upwards after he has used the ladder to climb up the ranks uh and pulling it and yanking it away from every other dwarf so that there would be only one which would be him narcissistic son of a biscuit i call him it's all cgi someone else said and they call it live action weird weird says another with 400 likes um well let's take some more comments somebody said personally i just wish they'd leave the older classics alone i tell you man it's all about creative bankruptcy now from disney specifically not just disney but the entire entertainment industry i'm tired of seeing remakes stop being lazy and make something original says another fans who got 700 likes now i do believe that disney is generally creatively bankrupt and i'm sure some of you will say hey what about the fact that they just gave us deadpool and wolverine that was absolutely amazing well i actually watched it for a second time today and I can categorically tell you guys, when I was watching it for the second time, I started looking at the production team and everything, and everything had Ryan Reynolds written on it, not actually Disney. So I think this was all Ryan Reynolds doing and went to Marvel and got the deal to make the Deadpool Wolverine movie, hence why you are seeing it so successful. We still have people in Hollywood that can make super movies, but not from disney so if whatever chris gore is saying about marvel having to fire some you know uh, you know woke activists that are producers in the marvel cinematic universe 
um yeah i'll believe it when i see it because if there's anything that i've seen with all of disney's ip or the ips that they bought over is this they try to get us one movie from any one of those franchises whether it's from lucasfilm or whether it be from you know marvel or from disney themselves like they gave us way of the water but then they give us a litany of shows that are woke uh, along with it after they've given us avatar just like they did with um what do you call it um uh uh i i forget now <laughs> with chris with chris pratt guardians of the galaxy they gave us guardians of the galaxy made a lot of money from that and then they gave us a litany of you know the captain marvels and all the other garbage just like now we're getting deadpool um we are soon going to be getting uh woke captain america as well and maybe other woes to follow so um only time will tell whether they're still going to be making some woke shows even the doctor doom that's coming might be a great movie but i wouldn't be surprised if they start to look for eternal 2 or something else to push their woke idea on a consistent basis because at this particular point it seems like a religion with these people let's take some more comments um uh, why even call it a live action the opening shot was 95 percent cgi why can't they just use practical effects and cgi only if necessary the cottage looks polished and it did look polished when you see the cottage itself it does look polished says another with 1.9k likes you can see that these are legitimate um criticisms now when it came to criticism last year for was it last year or two years ago at this point in time time for uh the little mermaid disney silence uh people and uh, you know they turned off the comment however this time around seems like um they might not have turned off the comment or have they um i can't see the comments here oh yeah it's there uh they left the comments on funnily enough very ballsy of you making the dwarf cgi so they don't have to hire dwarf actors is wild right you know, so a lot of people are criticizing him. This is why YouTube doesn't show the downvotes. So a lot of people put that downvotes there. Our comment section is more entertaining than the trailer, right? Obviously. If I was the prince, I would save Gal Gadot from Snow White, which is another story that I think is brewing that I will be addressing possibly on another video very, very soon. But anyways, you guys, this movie to me is going to be dead on arrival. Absolutely. But what do you guys think about Rachel Zegler and the new Snow Brown, I should say? Let me know in the comment section below. I want to thank you guys for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, feel free to like, share, comment, subscribe. Ding that bell for notification. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. God bless. Peace and signs out of here. Bye-bye now.